everybody. Hi. It's Kate and Jen, and this is our new grandbaby, Emma. We're coming to you from California. We're in California visiting our kids, and then we have a surprise guest. She's not gonna say much. Nope, but she's a looker. Um, we didn't really prepare for this video too well, so kind of bear be with us at we all. We don't at prepare all. for any of them. Sometimes we do, a little bit. I prepare. I prepare myself the whole time. I sit in the mirror, I do a little voice check, gargle with some stuff so it sounds good. Make sure the mullet's on point. Make sure my eyebrows are combed and I didn't even do any of it. I just, just wing it. I, we just came from the movie and I've got butter in my, my, my mouth still, drinking a soda. Butter in your stash? Butter in my stash. So, I apologize in advance. Um, so, what were, what were, has, uh, has everyone seen oh, yeah. my prank video? We were going to talk about my privacy being, um, uh, I was in a very private moment and Kate thought it would be really funny and it's not funny, but it's going to be at the end of this video and you'll see it's not funny. She, she got new headphones. They're awesome. And she was trying them out. They're, they block out all sound, so I can't hear anything. I was doing the dishes. Dancing on the ceiling. Listening to some Lionel Richie, you know, doing some shake, shake this Just way, shake, shake them. that way. Just, you know, in case they haven't seen it. Ooh, but I found out I'm tone deaf as I was, uh, when I listened to it and when I watched it. So, a little heartbreaking. I'm having little issues with it right now, but I'll be okay. I just really got to work on my singing. I did also record her singing in the bathroom, but I didn't play that one. No, but she did it live. I, I wasn't did. even prepared. The kitchen one was live. It was live and I was not prepared. So I'll put it on the end and y'all can see it's it. It's great. You're going to be really, it's going to be um, Team Jen. There's going to be a lot of hate mail coming to Kate. I don't want you guys to be too hard on her for being so... Just willy nilly with my privacy, because that was my private time. So, anywho. There is no private time when you're married to me. Hi. Hey, it's true. Emma, what do you think? She's out. Leave she, her alone. She gives knuckles already. She's out. Let's see. I did have an interesting comment this knuckles. week that I wanted to discuss. So, I was talking to someone about Thanksgiving and traditions, and, you know, that we have our kids born by donors. And this particular person said, is it weird at Thanksgiving because only half of the children are represented? They only have half of their family there. And I just want to be really clear that all of our kids have two parents, not half a parent, not half. I mean, they are well-rounded. Just because we don't know who the sperm donor is does not mean that only half shows up. So... Just because they didn't come from Jen. From here, this is me. Here goes the fingers and again. And then here comes, that didn't happen. They came from here. Everybody here, not here. Okay, enough visual. Okay, just so you're all aware. Just so you all know the, the whole story. Now, Kate, Okay. Well, they, they came it. from they here. They got it. Okay. They came right out there. So. But we do need to talk about something very serious. Have you guys seen on the internet? This it, is very serious. So it affects listen everyone, up. Everyone. All of you, Future listen up. Future generations. They changed the alphabet song. My grandchild is not going to know the new one. I'm putting a ban on it. I'm going to work diligently to get a ban on this new song. So I guess there's people out there. Don't listen, Emma who don't understand when we sing L-M-N-O-P. They get confused by all those letters in a row. Five is too many. So now it's L-M-N, no, 
L-M-N-O-P-Q in the song. They're screwing it up for the no, world. No, we don't mess with that stuff. Just because you ran them all together, you still knew them. You still knew the letters. If you didn't, you're dumb. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, come on. You can't figure it out. Get your crap together, everybody. Do you have it? Oh, no, I don't have it. No, no I would You're going to have to research it. Research it. And if you know your letters. Yeah. Type an alphabet. A. New alphabet L song. Yeah. You're going to be highly disappointed. We're not going to allow her to listen to it. <laughs> Banned. That's why I don't so, have it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, good call. Good call, <laughs> Nana. Already being protective. She's gonna run them together, L M N O, just like everybody else. Yeah, and then like, when you get older, you're like, oh, those are different letters. Okay, I got this. Pretty. What if she tries to cross the border and they say, hey, sing the alphabet song, and then she sings it wrong? She doesn't run them together. They're gonna think that she doesn't belong here. Wow, it that could be. was a stretch. <laughs> it I... definitely could be. You need to know the real stuff that goes on in the USA. Do you really think that Border Patrol asks people to Absolutely. sing the alphabet song? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do we have any Border Patrol followers that could clarify that? I think TSA does it too. Hmm. Yeah. TSA. While we're on the subject of TSA, let's have a little discussion. They are so angry. So last March, we were going to Ohio to see our son, Dylan, wrestle in nationals. And we had made the flight for the same day. So we were getting in at like 11 and I think it started at four. Tight schedule. Yeah, real tight. And then we... Um, Let's go right out time. Nobody can hear you. Oh. So um, we went through TSA and had about 45 minutes until the plane boarded. And whenever we go through TSA, somebody always gets stopped. And everything gets searched. It's just a natural thing. I so, just look like a, a criminal. Criminal. So I got through TSA and I was waiting and waiting. And we had TSA pre-check. So I was waiting, waiting, waiting. And she's not coming. And she's looking at me. And I'm like, what is taking so long? And they came. TSA wanted to run her backpack again. And she's like, sure, go right ahead. She thought yeah. it was because she'd put ibuprofen in an unmarked bottle. No, you know? in a vitamin bottle. Oh, uh, whatever. Vitamin bottle. I mixed bottle. them all together because I just pop them all together anyway. So... However, what it happened? wasn't that. Well, I got this really, uh, like my stomach all of a sudden got really tight and I got really nervous. And I looked at her and I said, it's my gun. And she's like, across TSA, okay, there's like 50 TSA people, all this, and she's like, your gun! It's all gun. I don't sound like that. Gun, 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 gun. Everybody's like, whoa, whoa, hands up. No, they didn't say that, but they were really irritated with me. Uh, Denver police came. I left her. I had to leave her because I had to make it to Dylan's wrestling match. And I figured there's people that would bail her out. She's re really caring. That's what I'm getting out of the story. I was very stressed. So when we got to the gate, those of us that did not bring, oh, by the way, it was a loaded gun. That well, she that's had. what I carry. Those of us that didn't have a gun were all waiting for the plane and we were stalling the plane. We were having to measure Which our suitcases. Nice. One lady pretends like she had no clue how to put her stroller down. We were really trying to stall. Meanwhile, the criminal so they said, hey, what do you got in there? I said, oh, it's my duty weapon. Well, it wasn't my duty weapon. It's my off-duty weapon. So they're like, oh, um, okay. Do you, can you prove it? I'm like, mm, yeah. So they said, okay, let me see. So I said, okay, proved it. They said, ooh, don't do this again. And you need to go take it back to your car. You only have uh, 15 minutes to make the plane. So you better put a move on it. So... Fast forward, gave the taxi 20 bucks, I told them 20 extra if you get me back in five minutes or 10 minutes. He said, no problem. And he slid me across. We did like this friggin', um, what's that? Oh, dr the Drift. drifting. Because it was snowing, I think. Yeah, he's like sliding sideways and scared the crap out of me, but I had one minute to spare and I made it. 
She didn't make it. We saw the plane. However, so now, that's something to celebrate. She's on the TSA watch list. I am. So every trip that we Forever. take, and we take a lot of trips, we have to leave early now because someone gets well, extra security screening. And that's okay. I don't mind people watching at the airport for an extra hour and a half. I do. I, wa I mind it a lot. Taya <laughs> minds it. <laughs> but I'll be back on track um, when March comes back around because that's when I get off um, ungrounding. I'm not grounded anymore. Well, you still are right now. From TSA. I just feel like most people would remember that they had a loaded gun in their bag before they put it through TSA. Well, whatever. It all worked out. I didn't get arrested. I didn't go to prison. I'm still here and I'm still flying. And she just has this cute little monitor on her ankle. It's super cute. <laughs> it goes off when I go through, but it's all right. It's no big deal. It's like a nightlight. Yeah, it's all just, good. I said plug it in at night, just keep my uh, leg by an outlet. It works out really well, so I'm not worried about it. It beeps if she drinks. <laughs> if I get too close to a school, beep, 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 you know, yeah, all this kind of mouthwash. stuff. Mouthwash. Mouthwash, can't have, I cannot use mouthwash, so. Anywho. That's all I got. That's all Nothing we got. Nothing exciting this week. We got Thanksgiving coming up. Yes, and we have a special Thanksgiving. Um, Maybe a Thanksgiving wrap. Outfit. Y'all want me to wrap for Thanksgiving? We're hmm. having a weird Thanksgiving this year because the boys have a game on Friday. So they have practice all day on Thursday. So we're going to go to a friend's for Thanksgiving. And then we're having a family Thanksgiving on Friday. I mean on Saturday. Saturday. So, so weird. After the boys' game. So, anywho. Well, we love you guys. Keep subscribing. Keep passing it around. Keep working it in your daily lives because we need more uh, watch hours now. So keep watching this. Like watch it like five or six times. It's nice to do. And we're and it gives you tips on what not to do at TSA. We're, right. This is very informative. And you can see the baby. Cute baby. The grandbaby. She's the cutest ever. And she's got a really nice hairline. I'll show you guys. Look at this hairline. I mean, what kind you of kid? You can't see her. Oops. That's my boobs. Oh, look at that. I mean, this child has a beautiful head of hair. I feel like my boobs are taking over that shot. Oh, well. There might be some people that want to see your boobs. Hmm. Well, that's a whole different audience. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you watch. Keep coming back. Thank you. We're out. See ya. Bye from California. Bye from California. It's 70 here. Love you.